Hello and welcome to the latest episode of my FIFA 13 web app experience and uh, obviously as we know there have been some big events happening in FIFA's ultimate team since we last met. Number one was obviously the uh, server coin exploit crash that had to uh, you know take down the trade pile for a few days and then obviously the uh, 24 hour happy hour was uh, in effect and I can talk about that later but first while I was bored when I didn't have much time for Ultimate Team I just decided to make two rather funny squads that wouldn't be suitable for Ultimate Team in all honesty but would be you know a bit of crack to you know you know better spend a bit of time nearly like I'm nearly out of college for the Christmas now so I'm looking forward to that and uh, just two squads I made up in uh, Foothead uh, just for the fun uh, you know just to show some other interests that I have that have you know pondered an ultimate team so let's begin with my formula one team uh with obviously it's just an alternative formula one team there are plenty of others you could have but let's just talk about it in goal it's glenn moss who represents uh sterling moss like legendary driver never managed to win the world championship unfortunately then uh on the the uh, wing backs we have williams and ferrari so we've got a nice link of teams the two most two of the most famous teams in history uh, with the rather lotus team center back pairing of uh, Chapman or representing Colin Chapman and then Kieran Clark representing Jim Clark uh, uh, I just think that worked beautifully since they were probably the greatest pairing of driver and team owner in history and uh, you could have Hill here as well for a nice effect as well but I just picked Chapman uh, on the left we have Hunt who represents James Hunt and the right uh, Sir Jackie Stewart is represented by Stewart here and then a rather ironic center midfield pairing of Schumacher and Alonso the two title rivals of 2006 and uh, as Schumacher bows out Alonso still hasn't earned his third championship and uh, up front we have Senna, Marcos Senna representing Ayrton Senna and then probably a funny one Arnu representing Renny Arnu. Uh, one thing you probably notice is I should put Senna here since it wouldn't make sense for a guy like Senna to be up front but that was just what I wanted to do make a basic 4-4-2 and then probably the more impressive one here is my wrestling theme squad and um, it was pretty hard not to have it WWE dominant but nonetheless that's what I tried to do I tried to get a mix of WWE and other organizations so let's just begin with the goalkeeper, Joe, uh, aka Brett the Hitman Hart, uh, very nice way to begin. Uh, we have Vince McMahon at right back, which be like he's got the right face for us, which is pr pretty amusing. Uh, Anderson, now you must be thinking, who is he representing? Well, in TNA Impact Wrestling, you've got Mr. Anderson, and then from WCW, it was Aaron Anderson, so that was a nice double whammy. Uh, and then center back as well we've got Brooks who represents Phil Brooks aka CM Punk so that worked well well I thought we've got Foley uh, Kevin Foley who represents Mick Foley nicely done there unfortunately he's not a left back so kind of had to cheat uh, Van Dam, like it's not quite what Rob Van Dam, how he spelled it but you know I think it, it's fair to let him in with uh, Guerrero uh, there are plenty of Guerreros, so uh, take your pick. And then Kane, we have a Kane, so <laughs> well, Harry Kane, that was pretty uh, funny. Uh, Johnson, uh, you, know, you could have two Johnsons, but obviously with McMahon at right back, it would make sense that you have, uh, you know, a Dwayne Johnson, the rock representation. And then a nice, amusing front line that uh, inspired me to uh, make this little ultimate team. It's Tarson and Austin, Tarson and Austin. But of course, you could have a Rhodes. You could replace Tyson with uh, Rhodes uh, from Blackburn Rovers if that suits your needs better. But you know, handy stuff. And then the uh, Formula One team, you could have uh, Maldonado. You could have Perez. You could have. Uh, I think you can have Glock. But I just wanted one that was historically relevant. So you have people from past and present in there so uh, that's the first part of the video over so stay tuned for a quick update on my real ultimate team 
web app. Alright, so welcome back to uh, my Ultimate Team web app for this part of the video. So, uh, as I wanted to gain some tournament wins and stuff, I decided to upgrade my uh, Serie A Gold team with some new players and uh, also to like uh, get Asamoa and uh, Montari as defensive mids. Uh, my first uh, new player is Vucinic. Uh, he, he links perfectly with Jovetic, obviously. Um, he, he's been pretty good, like uh, two goals in five games. It's decent enough, but the fact that Jovetic just gets better and better, it's really something to admire. I really, really am hooked on this card. 19 games, 18 goals, including one that he got a brace when I was like 4-3 down with 10 minutes to go. Absolutely loved it. And, uh, you know, class stuff there. But on the bench, there are a few players that have popped up that interest me. First of all, I suppose you're not too surprised. It's Eric Lamela, five-star skiller. You know, outstanding pace. Uh, let's just, there you go. 82 pace, 88 dribbling, 73 shooting. That is a lie. He does love to poach a goal. And then we got 74 passing as his relevant stats. He's just he's just my hidden weapon off the bench because he's not suitable for my formation. But a 700 coin, you know, purchase for a five star skiller is insane. Four goals or th four games and three goals, including one where he scooped turn past the goalkeeper. And when he scored within his first three touches, he really is a, a little gem. And you must go out and find them now. You really do. He's absolutely fantastic. El Sharari, um, unfortunately, he's been relegated to the bench, but when he does play, he is a superstar. Uh, I got uh, Hernandez, Abel Hernandez, in a pack. Haven't used them yet, actually, but I'm sure if you really needed a bit of more pace with 15 minutes to go, he is your man. And uh, I think that's about it for this squad. Um, still really good. I've won so many games with it now. I got promoted from Division 2 into Division 1 with them. And I made a cup final with them. But again, I was beaten. Very tough game. I got to extra time after El Sharari. Got a beautiful top corner equaliser. But I lost after a silly mistake in added time. Uh, so that's just the way it is. I'm not a good tournament player. But I'm better in divisions. But... Um <coughs> Thanks to the uh, 24 hour happy hour, or the happy day as I call it, I now made 76,000 coins uh, as Philip Lam, Pepe and Manuel Neuer are some of the players that appeared in my packs. So in and around I made the profit plus the 10,000 for winning Division Division 2 and uh, just there's some of my trade pile I need to get rid of. But uh, if like I tried to do some shopping to get a inform like uh, inform uh, trading but I've ended up getting the worst or the least popular of them all it's a strandsel <coughs> so I think like judging by the people who've actually used him that he's good it's just the fact that he has low pace and a bad, bad nation in a dominantly German you know in a dominant German league then he's not very popular so with my 76,000 coins with hopefully a few more in the lime line, what on earth should I do with them? I've absolutely no idea what to do with them. Should I wait for a new tournament to crop up and build a new squad? Should I build a Bundesliga squad for my inform so I, I can actually have an inform for the first time ever? Or should I trade my 76,000 coins to make more? Uh, any suggestion would be, you know, highly appreciated, and uh, you know, hopefully. I can get better at this ultimate team uh, heading into the Christmas period. So uh, thank you very much for watching this rather uh, laid back video. Hopefully the serious business will continue in a week or so when I have my college assignments done. So cheerio.